are here uh, on Bangalore Highway near 90 South intersections. Uh, we want to notify the, the public of the next phase of this kind of work on this section of the project. Uh, we want to notify the drivers that the, our next phase is going to consist of closing one of the Bangalore's uh, highway lanes on both directions. Currently there are three lanes, northbound and southbound on Bangalore Highway and we are planning to reduce one lane on both directions and we're estimating for about 45 days. The reason for this closure is, as you can see behind me, the cruise is going to be extending the pavement, installing a new storm drain system, replacing old barrier, uh, installing a new fiber optic lines, and so on. So all this work needs to be done in order to finish up this intersection and needs to be done down at the bottleneck where under the current structures, the old Bingham Highway, the UTA bridge, and so on. So we're expecting delays, but we're recommending all the drivers to use alternative routes, such as Redwood Road and Mount View Corridor. And for that, we want to make sure that we have a safe work zone for our workers to finish up all this work. We're reconstructing uh, State Street from 114 South to 106 South. When we're finished, uh, we will have uh, three lanes uh, in each direction, north and southbound. And uh, with that, we'll have uh, reduced congestions um, in that corridor. Uh, right now, it's a bottleneck and uh, improve the safety overall because the congestion is down. We we'll see the long-term benefits of just uh, improved road for the next 20 years uh, in this area. So we're on track. Uh, to finish this um, October 2018. On uh, I-80 in the westbound direction from Jeremy Ranch to the summit, uh, we're adding a truck climbing lane there that will increase safety. It'll allow uh, an additional lane for trucks, slow moving trucks to, to get over to the right and for faster moving cars to, to pass on the left hand side. As part of that project, we're also building a wildlife overpass or bridge at the summit, uh, just on the Salt Lake County side of the county line there. And that bridge will, um, is intended to, to be a passing for wildlife and we'll fence up to, to the entrance to the bridge on both the north and the south sides and uh, kind of funnel wildlife through that area and uh, hopefully allow them a safe passage, a safe way uh, to get, um, to maintain their normal migratory route and uh, to keep them off of I-80 and keep collisions uh, with wildlife to a minimum. Construction began in May on SR-224 from SR-248 to Bear Hollow Drive. This project will mill three inches of the existing pavement and replace with three inches of new HMA asphalt. Construction will take place Monday through Friday between the hours of 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. The trail along SR-224 will remain open for pedestrians and cyclists. The results of this project will create a smoother surface for the traveling public while preserving the roadway section. This is a routine maintenance project that takes place every five to seven years. Please use caution when driving, cycling, and walking through the work zone and obey posted signs and speed limits. <laughs>